Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Tracy Tressmark. I know uh, it has been a while since I made a video, but I felt that I had to make a video right now. If any of you know who Torben Sødergaard is uh, from the last Reformation, you should go and watch his last three or four videos because he is being attacked by the mainstream media and on TV and on in newspapers nationwide in in Denmark right now and they are editing together things they film they have been following him he thought they were making a documentary about him you know a fair balanced you know documentary but they just edit together to make him look as bad as possible. That's what they do, you know. The mainstream media never ever believe anything you see on TV, no matter in what country you are. There are some some few exceptions, but mostly you can't just believe things you see on TV. They always edit things together to fit their agenda you know so you always have to have different sources in every everything you look up you know everything here on tv you have to check it fast fact check it so uh, to my danish friends i i ask you please go and watch his videos you know if you watch him on tv and before you get angry with him, as they tell you to do, you know, don't be ma manipulated right like that. You know, it's called programming for a reason. You know, of course they edit things together. Go and watch his videos and see if these things are true, and you will realize that they are not. And then you will learn that you cannot trust mainstream media in any country. So what they are doing now is they are filmed uh, he has uh, when he baptizes people and demons start to manifest and he, he, uh, he uh, delivers those people from the demons and people get so happy and feel this freedom but of course the mainstream media doesn't show the freedom and happiness those people get they only show the manifestations, of course. And then they clip to little children watching and and the children uh, look scared, you know. They look, uh, they are not happy about what they see. Of course, nobody's happy about seeing demons manifest. But they are happy afterwards when everybody cheers and are really happy because they got delivered from those demons. But the media never shows that, of course because they are liars and they are now politicians has put their sense in you know in Denmark they want to make it illegal to pray for people if you are not ordained uh, an ordained pastor that's what's coming and if Denmark can do that then other countries will follow because you know their agenda, you know who they are serving, you know. They're not... They say, oh, we have to protect the children from these crazy people who lay hands on them. But they are not protecting the children, they don't care about the children. They are protecting the demons. Because they are demon-possessed and are anti Christian, you know, they look at the demons who get thrown out and thrown back to hell and they feel sad inside because that's their brothers. That's what's going on. They are of Satan, you know, unless they get saved, you know. Until you get saved, you are of Satan. That's just how it is. And some are 
more used by Satan than others, of course. And uh, some God has his eye on before they get saved and Satan doesn't even try to you know, attack them or use them. But those in power are those in power in the media who lie and cheat and try to destroy people good people you know they edit together to make people look as bad as possible you have to look through that you have to look people watch that and get angry and believe what they see i mean that just tells you how manipulated and programmed you can get by watching TV. It's a reason why it's called programming. I said that already, but uh, stop watching TV because it's not good for you. They manipulate your brain, you know, and they program you. And if you hear, for instance, if you hear, like, oh, Trump is bad, Trump is bad, Trump is bad, he's lying, he's lying, he's lying. And you have all these people coming on who gets paid to say that, oh, Trump is lying, Trump is lying. When you hear that enough, you start believing it. Even if you hear, never hear uh, an example of what he has lied about, they just, say, oh, they just say all day long, oh, he's crazy, he's lying, he's crazy, oh, he's mentally ill, oh, he's crazy, he's a lunatic, oh, he's lying. But then they will never show an example because there is none. But if you keep watching it, you start believing it. It's mind control. TV is mind control. Stop watching TV, especially the news. Well, with some, a few exceptions. Some of the Fox, some of the Fox uh, programs are good, and uh, of course uh, Christian, um, Christian news uh, is good. But uh, this is uh, dangerous for everyone if this Danish media can keep can keep doing this to Torben and this wonderful movement he has created. They can do this to everyone, and if this, if they can just continue doing this, and uh, they make it illegal, as I said, to pay for people, other countries to do it. So we are living in the last days. The Bible will soon be illegal. Uh, praying for people on the streets will be illegal. You see, you can see where this is heading, but we can fight back. And I'm asking you all to support Torben and uh, The Last Reformation. Watch his videos. And I suggested that he would uh, start a fundraising for a legal fund because he, he has to fight back against this. This smearing, this lying and smearing of the mainstream media, he has to fight back. The whole team, whole TLR team from all over the world should come together and hire a lawyer and attack. And uh, I think that is righteous. I think that is righteous anger. I think we are, it is okay for us to fight back legally. Well, so to my Dan Danish friends, my fellow Scandinavians. Um, I'm from Norway, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, we used to be a union, you know, Denmark and Norway. And we are still, you know, Scandinavia. So I pray and hope that uh, the Danish people will start watching um, Torben's videos on uh, The Last Reformation. Just search The Last Reformation on YouTube and you will find it. 
find the videos. And um, to Torben, uh, learn from these mistakes. Always, if the media is um, interviewing you, always tape it. Always have one of your friends tape it so that you can show what you actually said afterwards. Well, and start a fundraiser. Well, that's all I had to say. Uh, I love you, brother. I love all the TLR. I wish I would, could go there someday. You know, uh, I can't afford to. <laughs> but uh, maybe in the summer camp, that would be amazing to be able to go there to Jesus Hotel. You know, um, it's an amazing moment to spread the gospel, to make disciples of all nations. What they are doing is the way to do it. You know, train up two. If those two train up two, and you go on and on, after 17, you have more than a million. You know, so you can reach the whole world doing doing it that way. Well, anyway, that's all I had to say. And um, you know, turn off the TV and uh, watch, research things for yourselves. Uh, watch YouTube videos. Watch God TV. Watch you know, there's so much uh, material to watch. So much to watch. And you can even watch TV shows and stuff exactly when you want without any these uh, programming commercials <laughs> you get on TV. So I I don't understand why anyone would want, want to watch TV shows and movies on, t on the TV. It's just crazy to me. But that I was stopped watching TV a very long time ago. So I think I haven't watched TV at all since like 2010 or something. Except for a few times when uh, on uh, some sporting event or something but and anyway god bless you all i hope you support the last reformation and torben Sergor. and um you know go on the attack attack the media when they are lying obviously lying all right bye bye then